Welcome and hello my beautiful Cancers. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 11th to the 17th 2022. Let's see what's coming in with your first energy card coming in behind you. You've been given time to act. So there might be a situation that you're involved in right now that you've been thinking about contemplating not moving towards very quickly but the universe and the sources and the powers that be are saying this is a perfect timing for you whatever you uh, have been wanting to do uh, step up and do it maybe you've got some time on your hands here this week uh, maybe you're home more um, and maybe some of you are just on holiday uh, but you're not going anywhere it's time for you to do some research maybe you've got the time now to get on your computer and research something that you're interested in maybe you're uh, you know you're getting putting yourself out there looking for a new job perhaps or being able to upgrade your resume or perhaps you're just getting in contact with people that you haven't spoken to in a while but you need to act on it now they're saying that it's the perfect time to allow something to grow and expand and you'll you'll find satisfaction and you'll get results that everything's about timing and I really believe uh, in that so you know the universe is saying this is the right time for you to step up and do something like I said, you could have time on your hands and able to do it now. You've got the hangman. Uh, you may be um, feeling as though you're between worlds right now and you're hanging in limbo. This could. This is always uh, a temporary situation uh, for whatever the reasons are. You, you are going to be able to get off this at any time you want when you feel ready. So again, I always say when we see this hangman, no matter what deck it is, there seems to be this bright uh, epiphany, this bright... Um, light around their head and that's indicative of <clears throat> looking and seeking and doing research and getting the answers that you need while you're in this situation you're not just hanging there and doing nothing so when once you get what you need you're going to hit the ground running I think you're you're going to find a place uh, of peace here and serenity um, and you're going to be feeling very satisfied with yourself in a situation things seem to be changing they're telling me and you will be feeling this happiness coming back into your life you're going to have enough uh, enough security now where you feel safe and secure in your finances and also you're going to be happy in any relationships that you're involved in I see peace and harmony being restored and things are working out great I always call this card walking in your garden of abundance but also keeping your eyes and your mind open to the options that come through the doors towards you don't be afraid to reach out and do something different don't be afraid to reach out and walk through those doors of uncertainty because because you can't go wrong uh, the universe is sending you something here and that is peace harmony and satisfaction and for some it'll be in your home life your family life relationships and for others you're going to feel that security of finances stability trust your instincts high priestess is all about that listening to your inner voice of wisdom uh, if you have any instinctive gut feelings about a situation good or bad act on them okay pay attention to them because usually our intuition is dead on don't go jumping into anything too quickly do your research uh, you know get get out there and do the research that you need to find out what's going on behind the background before you do anything before you act and sign any legal documents that are are, are binding uh, that need to be notarized but this you know I think you're tapping into your own intuitiveness and I think you're tapping into your own psychic abilities because you're sensing things around you and you're noticing that these things are accurate so keep going down that path my beautiful cancers you have this ability yourself to tap into that little inner voice of wisdom so listen to it listen to it and move forward and act on it whatever it is that you're you're getting this feeling about uh, trust it keep going towards your goals you've got the hand coming in in the center position and it says in need of help assistance and guidance so this is about <clears throat> reaching out for the powers that be the information that you need the right people to connect with perhaps some of you are needing assistance financially so you're going to go off to your bank and your lending and loaning institutions others you may need help uh, maybe you're feeling uh, that your health isn't hundred percent seek out your doctors seek out the professionals that can guide you and help you through a situation um, maybe it's time now to tap into your friends and your family members that you you lean into for security um, now this could be you or could be someone in your family or someone close to you that needs this assistance so you may be reached out towards for some help some uh, and some support uh, for someone else but it, it, this card says it's going to come okay just do the research 
and if it's for you seek out the help don't be don't try to fight the forces on your own here Tr don't try to um you know become your own doctor as they say reach out and get the assistance that you need now you've got the four of wands i love it um, and you've got the Eight of Wands, and you've got the Fool. They're all wonderful cards here. And, you know, you're going to have a reason to celebrate something. Maybe there's going to be an announcement of a new child coming into the family. Maybe there's going to be an engagement coming in. Uh, maybe there's an announcement of a wedding. Uh, maybe there's going to be an announcement of someone buying a new home or moving to a new home or, or moving in with their significant other. But this is a beautiful card of celebration. Whatever the reason is, Cancers, get ready to kick up your heels, get together with with the people around you that you care about and that love you so you're going to be having some fun here enjoy if you've been in this hangman situation for a while i think you're going to see an energy shift here things are going to speed up you're going to be getting very busy and maybe it has to do with this occasion that's happening maybe some of you are planning a wedding or you're involved in a wedding of your child's or maybe you're planning that baby shower whatever the event is i think you're going to be get hearing a lot of uh a lot of correspondence there's going to be a lot of information coming into you from other people uh whether it's phone calls texts you know letters uh <clears throat> emails whatever the case is get ready to get busy i think that you're going to be wearing a lot of hats you're going to be going in a lot of directions and you need to tighten up those bootlaces because you're going to hit the ground running and become very busy now also this card indicates uh it's often referred to as the wands of cupid there could be an announcement here that somebody has met somebody um and there, and love is in the air this is beautiful <coughs> the fool Excuse me, my allergies are killing me today. And it's early in the morning when they're bad. <coughs> I sound really deep this morning too because of it. So, I apologize for that. Now, you do also have the fool. And this means you're going to be taking a leap of faith. You're going to be going towards something that you've been planning to want to do in a long time. But maybe timing wasn't in the essence. Maybe uh, you weren't ready. You weren't prepared. But I think you've been doing your research now. And I think you're ready to go towards something new. Maybe you're jumping into a new job. Maybe you're, you're, you're starting your own business. Maybe you're deciding to relocate and move somewhere else. Uh, maybe you're going to be moving into a new home, a new residence. Maybe you're moving out of the country. Uh, for some of you, you could be um, <clears throat> planning a new relationship. And um, yeah, this could be anything. But it's all about being prepared. So do that. Continue doing the research. Make sure that you're prepared before you take that leap of faith. Don't jump off that. that <laughs> you hear me say this all the time. Don't jump off that cliff without checking your parachute. But the universe says timing is right for you. Um, I think you're preparing yourself for a new life here. I think you're preparing yourself for a new direction, a new job, a new career, a new relationship, a new life in general. And it's going to bring you happiness and satisfaction and reason to want to get together and say, wow, I want to celebrate this. That's how great you're going to be feeling. This is wonderful. Now, coming in towards you, possible future energy, you've got the wishing well. Family wishes come true. So whatever you've been manifesting here and meditating upon, it's going to come to fruition. What have you been throwing your coin in the, in the well and wishing for? Uh, continue to stay positive. I think you're working towards some happiness here. And definitely it says, you know, with this celebration card, maybe there's going to be a family wish coming true. Maybe somebody's been wanting a new baby or maybe there's <clears throat> a wedding coming in uh, or maybe there's a restoration of, you know, communicating and getting together with family members or even the return of good health of a family member. So I do believe that, you know, there's a lot of meaning to this card, but your wishes are going to come true. So this is beautiful. Now, coming in towards you, though, you've got this worry card, you've got the king of swords, and but you do have the lovers here. And so the eight of swords is telling me that you might be getting up in your head, uh, worrying about a situation in your life right now, and you need to let it go. Um, the only thing holding you back from getting better, feeling better, moving forward in a better direction, or having success in something is yourself. Because when we get up in our head and we start uh, you know, worrying and we start uh, thinking that things are not going to work out before they even happen. We're bringing that karma. We're bringing that energy in towards us. So this is about you opening your eyes to see the whole picture, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And then you're going to be able to move forward and let go of this concern. Um, it's not, you're not seeing something in complete clarity yet. So keep doing your research before you jump to conclusions. The King of Swords is someone who may be coming in here to give you a, a very wise counsel. Could be a lawyer, could be a notary, could be someone in government, someone in military. 
uh, anything like that. I always look at this as often a legal card, a legal eagle, someone who you're closely connected to in the legal sector of your life. Um, they come with e extreme wisdom and you could be getting advice from them. Take it. Uh, this could be a lawyer that's advocating for you. This could be, a, you know, a judge. This could be the crown. Anybody who is advocating for you and a very... <clears throat> um, uh, you know, important part of whatever you're going through right now <clears throat> but I do believe by leaning close to this individual and taking their advice things are going to work out in your favor they, they have they come with this database of such great wisdom and they're able to clarify something so that you won't have to worry so much now this could have to do with you and your partner uh, this, you know, this could be a situation that you're dealing with, maybe a legal issue there. Um, but the lovers is all about making a, a decisions and choices right now that could be determined on a lot heart level, on an emotional level, uh, whether it's a partner in business or a partner in love. Don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of some with being with someone who has something different to offer to the table. Be open-minded. For some of you, you may be meeting somebody new who you never thought you would even be. Uh, you know remotely attracted to and all of a sudden they come in and you say my gosh wh why didn't I have my eyes open why didn't I realize that you were there all along so I do think a lot of you will be faced with major choices and decisions right now that could be determined around another individual just you know get out of your head don't allow yourself to worry about something if it is a legal situation then seek that representation that you need to guide you uh, and you're going to feel a whole lot better about a situation don't allow yourself to get up in your head because worry never fixed one situation or problem in life now your beautiful outcome card here uh, is love matters so you do have the lovers here so <clears throat> you know the way you handle things is important there will always be many challenges and life lessons as that is part of this experience so choose to learn from your encounters get your heart ready to receive and allow for the various emotions you may be feeling consider what makes you happy is it time for you to allow yourself a day of enjoyment? Love who you are and be willing to give and receive love unconditionally. So this is about you finding your peace, doing the things you want to do, being with the people you want to be with, and just finding your own bliss and joy. So get out there and do it. <clears throat> it's time to act on that right now. And um, you deserve to be happy and enjoy your life right now. So all in all, I think this reading is pretty good. I'm going to clarify them, of course. I think you're going to see that this pause that and sort of <clears throat> hanging in limbo uh, that you've been in lately is going to pick up and it's going to shift forward. I think you're going to be able to celebrate something. You're going to be hearing news about something that's going to allow you to be happy again and it could be a family member or somebody close to you like that um you're dealing with a situation here that <clears throat> you know you're still allowing you to worry you but i think if you if you just trust the guidance that you're getting you're going to find that it'll work out okay let's see what we've got here for clarification please Spirit. what does cancer need to see know and expect additional information please see what we have here for you cancer okay coming in with a hangman and you going forward and acting on something that beautiful card of the nine of pentacles and the high priestess you do have the three of wands so you're definitely progressing moving forward in a direction here that is going to allow you to be happy to feel fulfilled um, you're completing something you're coming into your own and you may be even waiting on the shoreline for your ship to come in or this event to finally come to a conclusion or show up keep moving forward stay positive don't allow yourself to stand there and just wait and worry about a situation this is the time for you to move forward and this is the time for you to do your research and and trust your intuition here and stay positive coming in next with the four of wands the eight of wands and the fool you've been given i love it you've been given the six of swords so you're moving forward uh you know you're leaving something behind something's going to come to an end and it's going to improve so wherever you've been if you've been dealing with challenges up to this point 
things are going to shift and change and you're going to get this beautiful beautiful opportunity this portal and door opening for you to go in a new direction and things might have been tough for you in the past but they will never be that bad again you you're gonna you you will always have some bumps and blips and waves along the way but that's normal in the perfect world we wouldn't have that but you're up to the challenge and now you're going to be able to move forward in a better direction and i see that you're only going to be bringing those people on this leg of your journey in your boat with you that support love and want to do the same thing as you so let's see what we have here for our eight of swords our king of swords and our lovers <clears throat> you've got the four of cups so don't get up in your head again as i say um, this is a card that says you need to keep your options your eyes and your mind open to new things um, you may feel that you're stuck in limbo here in in a situation that you don't think is moving in the, in a in a direction fast enough for you but i think <clears throat> if you maintain stability balance and patience at this time you're going to see that things will work out i think you've got the best counsel here you've got the best guidance here coming into you as long as you don't block it as long as you listen and you observe here i think you've got support here in partnership as well so Keep your eyes and options open to things that are coming in. Be open-minded to things that are changing around you and accept them because when we fight them, that's when things don't work out. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon.